oh god What's up everyone, this is Sting and Wound, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. We uh, made it to Vault 81, and we're going to continue on and check this place out. Oh, jeez. No signs of radiation. Impressive. Thank you. Hey, Ashes. The work never ends in Vault 81. The work never ends in Vault 81. Kitty! <gasps> Damn it. I'm not going to like this. Where are you going? Come back. Come back, kitty. We keep the vault safe. Oh. Uh, get away from me. I guess there's going to be a uh, quest. Hope that Pip Boy belongs to you. It does. Jeez, everyone's just being. Pardon mean. me, officer. Don't want any trouble in 81. I hope you'll find that cat, alright? Hey there. Don't make me regret letting you in here. Okay. Where are we going? Wow, this is a long ass elevator. There we go. Austin. Grant says I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to food. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Okay. Nice pit boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. Perfect. I'm heading now. Don't wait up for me. Again? But I need your help here. Hello. Hi. Oh, so, Aaron so you're and I the new guy. Uh, I heard we let someone here. into the vault. Uh, how long do you plan on sticking around? Uh, not sure. Not sure. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every stray traveler that comes our way. Wow, everyone's just so cheery here. Hi. Our Stop Commonwealth guest, here, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. Keeping busy. Must be keeping busy then. At least business is good. Too good these days. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. Oh, but man. you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. Sure. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Uh, let's see what you got here. Overseer's Guardian shoots an additional projectile. How much is it though? A lot. Stuff I can't afford. Alright, well, let's see, what could I sell? What are you willing to buy? Uh, what's all that? Make a little bit of money. And tats. Thank you. She's looking pretty bad in there. Doctor Forsyth is asking to see you when you have a moment. Okay. What 
I wouldn't get for some brand spanking new genuine vault tech parts right now. Probably up here, maybe? That's Overseer. She's in her office. This is where she sleeps, obviously. Don't mind me, just opening every door that I find. <laughs> You've got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it. Some barber. Mm, you're whipping up a new you batch of dog? pies today? I heard Alexis promise one to Aaron, and I know how you hate to disappoint uh, the little one. <clears throat> Marcus William Somerset. Oh, don't you go on thinking you're so clever. Those oh pies are going goodness. to be for Calvin and his crew. Hi, I love Lord pie. Lord knows they could use a treat right now. Hey, you tried telling that to Erin and breaking a little girl's heart. I didn't realize my wife was so cold-blooded. Jeez. I swear, over 40 years of marriage, you need to count your blessings you're still alive. <clears throat> you must be that new traveler Gwen let in. It's always nice to see a new face around here. Well. Yeah, I imagine we break up your routine a little bit. Well, someone who's actually nice to me. If you need any food for the road or just feeling hungry, you let me. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Maybe. Do you run this place by yourself? Heavens no, I'd be a wreck. My husband, Mark, he helps me. Nice. Mostly with the tasting. <laughs> Uh, not today. Suit yourself. Uh-huh. I heard we had a traitor in today. Yeah, that's me. Everything's under control. I need to check the water pumps again. Classroom. Teaching the chillins. I'm imagining I'm going in here. This is probably where Dr. Forsyth is. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples? Even just the blood sample? Sure. I might, for some caps. You want to dicker about money? Either do it because it's the right thing to do, or I'll wait for the next Commonwealth visitor. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. All right. Sit there. Here. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. You're that wanderer from the cool. Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? This feels like one of those social awkward moments. All right. I helped him out, gave him some, some blood. Looking for medical treatment? Talk to Rachel. She'd be happy to help you with anything you need. Excuse me, Dr. Forsyth. If you get sick or injured, go to Rachel first. She'll call me if it's worth my effort. Okay. Sounds good. Bet you wish he took the tour now. Whoa! A real live Commonwealth person! You dress funny. Hi there. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. Well, I have no to do this, right? Put outside for him. <sighs> I'll find I'll him. Find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ash. I'm a sucker. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. You got it. I'm a sucker. I have to. I have to. New traveler. I am. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Huh. 
Yes, I've I guess had so. a few interesting moments. Stop being so modest. My kids would love to hear about anything you've done out in the Commonwealth. Would you mind talking to them and sharing one of your experiences? Sure. I suppose. I suppose I can tell them a few. I won't let them take up too much of your time. He must be so scared. Hello, Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? Sure. I guess so. If you want. They aren't that interesting. Stop being modest. The kids are so I excited have to, be, to hear your I, stories. Children, children, listen oh up. Boy. We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Ooh. Did you ever fight a death claw? To fight. Death claws are very dangerous. It was a tough fight. How did you beat it? Um. I was shot up pretty bad by the raiders that had my friend Preston trapped. But you were still able to rescue him, right? Yes. Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. <laughs> I wasn't ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Yep. Have you ever seen a death claw? No. Miss oh, Katie says I'm, they're big lizards with huge I'm claws. I'm like really concerned about Don't like stop now. pressing which one. I was hurt pretty badly. Preston and I finally killed it. Wow. Thank you so yep. much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Yay. Here. I like stuff. Yeah. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks probably do 5% damage. Plus 5% damage. That's awesome. Well, that was an easy quest. Cool. Let's go find the cat. Let's go find the cat. I have to do it. <sighs> Nose is itching like crazy right now, man. find right now? Chestnut Hillock Reserve? A little bit of exploring? Why not? We'll go. We're, 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 go. we're gonna find the cat. Don't worry. We're gonna find the cat. Explosions. Stupid bugs. That means probably tainted. Oh. Hear it. Oh. I'm guessing this was like a mug zapper. Oh, ow. Get out of here. What's up with this play tape? Okay, we're the locket. I almost slipped on the puzzle when the boat flipped over. I have to go back. 
There's a locket in the river. Let's see, what else is there? Should have probably read all of it. After finishing the bugs came back, Blowfies were worse, hell of a swarm, had a couple good shots off, but upset the boat, had to swim back. I think I dove, drove them off, at least for now. Bess look, Bess is spooked, but she'll be alright. If this keeps up, we'll leave first thing in the morning. He lost his locket, and probably his key. I'm guessing Edwin didn't make it. Take a rat away. Rat away, rat X. Go swimming. Edwin's key. That, I'm guessing that's Edwin. He dove in here to try to find the locket. Something's. Oh, the bugs get back. Excuse the critical. Stingwing. Oh, that's both flies. Ding wang. Something going on over there. I'm guessing he tried to dive in there and drowned. Right away. Stealth boy, stim pack. Thank you. Hate those things, man. I, I would like to find this locket, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't think it exists. Or if it does, it's just not. I'm just not going to find it. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. Go home, Ashes. Go home. Seriously. Seriously. Where's Mr. Gussie over here? Hello, sir. Oh! There's a protection right there. I am surrounded. <coughs> this is just not good. <coughs> I missed completely.
Oops. He's on fire. Wow. Some people here. I'm guessing those robots killed them, huh? Anything good up in here? Potato crisps. Take it. I'm guessing they got out of here. That's all my blood, so. Uh, robots were killing killing some peoples. Alright, let's take that. Alright, let's head back to full 81 and let her know the good news that we sent her home. Hello. I got so many flavors of mayhem for sale. Make a move and I'll end you, Wastelander. Hey there. So many guns in so little time. You just Hell gotta yeah. buy them. Let's see what you got. And there they are. Did your heart skip a beat too? Uh huh. Uh. Freaking out, man. Let's see what you got. Let's sell some stuff. Irradiated blood. You can have that. Want some whiskey? Hmm. Hmm. Shipment of gears, lead, silver. Pipe right now. I have so much pipe. The 38 ammo for the pipe pistol. That's like I still have ammo. So. If you're looking to do some trading, look for the depot. Alexis has just about anything you could need. Huh? I know it's a really quick mission, but hey, XP is XP, my friend. You want a kitty. good meal? See Maria at the cafeteria. Hey, sweetie. Ashes! You found him! I did. Thanks, mister. I was so worried about him. No big deal. Nah, it was no big deal. You're still my hero. Mom says I can give you this. Ashes! Hell oh, so yeah. So now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. Mom's gonna it's make ridiculous. This is Austin in the clinic. Let's do it. Let's go talk to him. That is a milk vending machine. 
You have to do something, Jake. Yes. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bob. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these oh, aren't no. ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they oh, used them to make vaccines. No. Treats. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Secret Bobby, you're under a genius. Anyone. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Sure. I'll do it. For Austin. You have a good heart. You gotta do Bobby it for Austin. Bobby here will show you where kid. he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Yep. There we go. Mm, Rhea's head just ain't in it today. She's got her mind on Austin stuck down in the medical center. Poor kid. If it was my kid, I'd want somebody to help help me out. Makes sense to me. Bobby. Let's go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna save Austin. Gotta do it. For the children. This is where I'm going to get gone to her Pacific Aids, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Breeding program update. Mole rat breeders. We finally got the breeding program stabilized. As earlier reports indicated, the mole rats show unusual degrees of aggression in captivity. This may be due to the growth hormones. Recent generations seem more docile, although some of the keepers are complaining that the lab animals are watching them, which is preposterous. We've created 197 dist 197 distinct serums that can treat 36% of known viruses. This is a modest improvement from last year's 33% treatment rate. However, 11 of the serums account for 61% of the treatment results, which is encouraging. At this time, only 90% of serums have the potential to be mass-produced. We have tasked our latest robot lab assistants to find ways to synthesize more of them efficiently. Okay, so they were doing experiments. Sweet. 
do I have left? 12, okay. Doing decent right now. There's another machine gun somewhere. Or a turret. Wooden crate. Let's see what's in here. Yes. Just getting so good at that. I wish it was translated into my hacking. But it is not. Got it. Look at that. Choose personality mode. Law enforcement. That was it. Default. Activate the unit. Oh, not good. Okay, so, it tried to kill me, I guess I should have expected that. Empty milk bottle, thank god dude, I don't want to deal with horrifyingly old, um, Milk. <laughs> oh, grody. Hello. Hello. Interesting. Oh, God. Observation terminal. The crop rotation implemented by the hydro party manager has proven successful for supplying the vault with adequate food. We have not had to intervene, which has limited the risk that the vault inhabitants will discover the secret part of the vault. There it is. So far, they do not appear to suspect the true nature of their vault. The greenhouse would be the perfect place to introduce class C4 and D1 viruses into the population, as well as potential cures should a disease get too virulent. I'm recommending installing hidden sprayers in the ceiling. Oh my, they were gonna put, they were gonna infect everybody in this vault. Man. 
All the bad stuff happens in these vaults. It's just bad. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. A real nice hold. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining oh, about spending time with your family? That's not good. They've been watching these people. Uh... I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so, so much busy, to do. Huh? Please, just... explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. Ugh, idiot. Damn. Deep Osiris. The vault inhabitants have unexpectedly repurposed this room to be some kind of store for selling and repairing their possessions. It has allowed this observation port to record interactions between many of the vault citizens. This shop will become an important disease vector for spreading airborne class B2 viruses. It will be also be valuable for observing the effect of disease on social and economic relationships. This room will become backup treatment location along with the commissary. The primary will still be the clinic under the assumption that severely ill patients will all be taken there. Oh. It's getting worse. Ooh, light bulbs. It's getting worse. Oh, I can't hit nothing. They're coming. You and your staff are to make sure every resident remains under strict medical observation. Understood. But overseer. No buts. Did I just get infected? Let's a little quick. Alright, now I can get both local leader and strong back. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Well, the good news is it doesn't seem that anyone currently in the vault is uh, in on it. Overseer observation terminal. Although the chief scientist argued against an observation port in the overseer's office, it has turned out to be a boon. We were able to observe the political shifts in governance since the vault door was locked. When we do introduce viruses to the population, we will be able to monitor the leadership's reactions and courses of action. Dude. Come here, you little... Whatever. I don't worry about him. He's, I don't know what's going on with that. Must be in this room. Just trying not to get a disease.
Oh my god! I'm out of ammo. Oh, this is not. I'm doing not good. Oh, I didn't need the stim pack. I shouldn't have that. I just panic, panic mode. Daddy. That's how we do. Oh, I don't need a pencil. Freaking mole rats. The stem pack right here. Hacking this is beyond me. Yep, it is. More of them. So freaking many of vermin. Fuck my ass. Pardon my language. <laughs> Tech password? Yes, please. Um, testing 123. Testing Dr. Olivia, do you copy? Olivia, I do, Kenneth. Everything good over there? Collins, just another drill day, right, Overseer? It is, and thank God for that. Where is everyone? Overseer, there are just three of us over here. What's going on? Olivia, are you getting this? Sorry, Kevin, it's been a madhouse on this side. Only three? Myself, Jim Flint, and that kid, Burrow. Where is everyone else? Not over here. Residents are being admitted. They started showing up in droves once the news started broadcasting. That's the way I heard. You'd think vault would have had enough warning to call at least a beta drill for his staff this morning. Something must have gone wrong. Phase 1 trial. We've been pretty limited down here, but we've been focused on antibiotics and have our first Petri dish trials underway. I saw the data last night. It's promising. Why do you think it's ready? The trial's just started, and the virus we're going after has a few days of inoculation, but I'm optimistic that later this week we'll see positive results. Okay, keep me posted. And don't begin phase two trials until I have the opportunity to go through the new data. Of course, have a good afternoon, Overseer. Do you have a minute? The system isn't instantaneous, bro. I ha hope you haven't been waiting for a reply all morning. Sorry, Overseer, I wanted to notify you about an issue with our food extruder. Extruder. Okay, I see it now. Looks like the clogged penetration tank. No Overseer Harbor it failures on the resident side. Must be addressed over there. We can't get the tanks or nozzles repair them. Okay, I'll down immediately. Go down how to... I think Overseer will go there now. Phase 2 trial. Good news, Dr. Lillard. We've tweaked our form of the Phase 1 trial results. I think we're ready to go with Phase 2. How's the Miller rat population doing? Very well. The specimens vault -Tec provided are remarkably hardy. Flint has been doing some radiation testing on them. Is that in the protocols? Not technically, but we noticed some weird stuff with the kibble provided them for them. Burrow got pretty sick for a day or two, don't ask. Flint's been looking into it. These suckers are big to begin with, and we're thinking it's genetic? Tampered with? Something like that. I think vault -Tec must have been running some experiments with them. They're all unusually large. If you demonstrate bioluminescence, at least one appears more intelligent than normal. 
Do you think they're still a useful control? We divide the colonies separated into the most unusual specimens and put the control colony on a new diet taken with from their own food supply. It's not ideal, but I think we're okay. Very well. Give me the evening to go over the data again, and I think we'll be clear to begin phase two, unless I don't find anything I don't expect. Delivery mech failure. I just thought it would be a good idea to test the delivery before we reach phase three. If we reach phase three, human trials are not to be undertaken lightly. What kind of test are you hoping to run? Just a placebo vapor to make sure the nozzle's dispensing properly. Residents wouldn't even know we've done anything. I guess that's the idea, though. I'll look at the nozzle issue on my end, bro. In the meantime, please do not use the delivery system without my direct approval. Doctor, please get in touch. I know what you've done. Honestly, I don't blame you. Before the face the trial on non-consenting humans is a breach of ethics, it, at least according to the world we used to live in. I can keep her together for a while, but Flint's already suspicious. What are we supposed to do over here? I can only lie to them for so long without some actual response from you. Damn it, Olivia. You can't be such a hypocrite that you'd condemn us to die in the name of your personal sense of morality. I know your politics, but I never thought you'd actually leave men for dead. Please reconsider this. Well, it looks like Olivia got a, caught a conscience and uh, locked them all in here. Good for her. Alright, well, let's see. There's another terminal back over here, and I got the key, so let's go check it out. Remote door control. Open door! Put this on me! I guess this might be the overseer's office. But, oh, I'm guessing there's corpses in here. Yep, there's corpses in here. Oh, another stranger. Are you Volt? Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR IE. And we found the assistant. Curie, or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you Vault Tech Security? Sure. Yes. Y yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something <laughs> must have happened. I am well, so I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work. Now, please, tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh... I'm uh, authorized. I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a Volt Tech representative, Yes. I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. Thank if you, you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Okay. You only have one only dose. One dose. That is correct. There used to be more. Dude, where's your but they all expired. Uh, trigger Sadly, discipline, man? The organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. Thanks. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Okay. Okay, Kiri. There's a blood pack right there. Let's see, terminal. More reading! Yay! Mission statement. We are trusting you with the mission that is 
critical to all humanity. Vault 81 will be used to wipe out disease as we know it in the human race. Your partition of the vault has been equipped with state-of-the-art medical research equipment, including contagion vulnerability robot, uh, verbiage, the robot. There is a century's worth of biological chemical supplies. There are the genetically adapted mole rats, and most importantly, a vault full of test subjects. As with all great progress, the needs of many outweigh the needs of the few. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Basically saying, like, oh, uh, doing what you're doing is for the greater good, so do all the bad stuff. Research. Day of the last purge. Memory failure. Personnel. Dr. Collins. Colleagues. Sleep mass and integration. Yeah, uh, we're not gonna. Eulogy. Yeah, she gave a eulogy. Them all. Put it up. I'm going to read directive. Yeah, I'm not going to read it. I'm read enough today. We, we know what happened. We know. Here we go. Oh, hello. The cure. You found it. Give it to Austin. Take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. Come on, buddy. Be okay. Shouldn't be long. What? Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee. Whew. Thanks, Mister. We I did was it. worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my That's part, what I do. I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I, I hope you enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've well, opened you. a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers Vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't yeah. believe so many died just behind our walls. Yep. You were lucky. If Vault Tech had lived to go through with their plan, this place would be wiped out. I don't doubt that one bit. Mm -hmm. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti Commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted and do more good, good. than just providing resources. That's what I do. You'll always be welcome here. And I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. Yep. Hello, Overseer. Austin's making a quick recovery Emma thanks Mary, to you. Please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving Oh boy, here we go. My entire life has been in this spot. I have analyzed She's and everything that is <laughs> here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists. Oh All my, oh no. To challenge my hypothesis. Um... You could it the sounds way. like the vault could really use you. Of this, there is no doubt. But I seek to elevate my capabilities, and down here I will stagnate. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? Can you it's do? no picnic up there. Anything you can do to help us survive? But of course. I also have defensive capabilities, yep. a laser. But surely there's little reason to use that. Alright. Come along then. Excellent. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. 
She has my companion out. I'll hey. talk. What do you want? I'll take. Hold talk. up a sec. Can I help you? Um, we're gonna dismiss. Probably about time we parted ways. I look forward to resuming our journeys. I'm gonna send her to sanctuary. They have a doctor now. That's the depot. Oh, this is my room. Sweet. Put the bobbleheads here. Oh, dude, it's like just a straight up, straight up room. This is awesome. All right, well. I think we're to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this content. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.